What is up guys, Evil Duos Arm here today. Today I have for you a video where we're going to be going over how to uh, maximize your FPS in Blade and & Soul and uh, generally improve the standing of your game. Um, so with this video I was requested during one of my live streams to go ahead and show my settings and then they asked uh, what sorts of changes can you make to graphics cards or uh, processors or stuff to go ahead and improve your performance in Blade & Soul so I decided I would go ahead and make the video on that. Um, so these are my settings, my changes that I've made to uh, my computer and my system for these. These might not work for everybody, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the process to min-maxing it for yourself so you can go ahead and do it on your own system and figure out what is best for you. So you're going to notice I have a specific setup right now for this. Um, I have AMD Overdrive in the top corner since I'm on a wonderful AMD processor. Um, so I basically can monitor my temperatures to make sure that I'm not going to break anything when I go ahead and start messing around in here. Um, next thing that we're going to notice is we got Blade and Soul windowed mode. Uh, you can do it in full screen mode. Windowed mode doesn't matter. It's about the same FPS if you want to keep everything on the same screen while you're doing this. Um, it just makes it a little easier on yourself. And then we're going to basically use the right side of the screen to go ahead and uh, do whatever other changes we're doing to the computer itself, just so you can see it all on one screen. If you have two monitors, you can put Blade and Soul on one and all the crap you see me doing on this one on the other. Um, it's up to you how you want to go about it. Just for recording purposes though, I've got it in windowed mode to go ahead and do this. So you're also going to want to make sure that your frame rate is uncapped. So if you go to your options menu, uh, if you go to graphics default settings, you're going to want limit frame rate in the foreground up to 120, limit frame rate in the background to 120 when you're doing this um, because all of your changes are going to be happening basically with Blade and Soul in the background. Um, so to keep the frames up, you're going to want, or to keep like an accurate measure of your frames, you're going to want to make sure you have it limited frame rate background up to the max as well. Um, and that's basically uh, all the settings you need to do ahead of time. So while we're in the settings menu, graphic settings, uh, we're going to run through the actual settings in the game. So if you don't know, let's get a little background on the, how Blade & Soul works actually. Basically the way it works is that it uses um, one of your computer's cores. Um, like, similar to a lot of MMOs from the time, they were optimized for like uh, Pentium processors, you know, back in the day, older stuff that was basically one or two cores. So there was no need to go ahead and, you know, have multi-core threaded processing abilities. And um, basically, that is where you are experiencing your frame rate losses because the game channel channels all of its computations through one core while your other cores sit there idling. Um, so ways to get around this um, involve basically just reducing your overall load on the single core, uh, which is why I have my temperatures up here to make sure I'm never overloading one of my cores when I'm doing this. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go into the graphics settings now that you have your little history lesson on how this works. And basically, uh, if you are struggling for frames, you're going to want to uncheck all these boxes. Blade & Soul is done on Unreal Engine 3. Um, so you, Unreal Engines typically have problems with blooms and motion blur, so those two are definitely causing major FPS drops on your thing. I know from experience because I play around in Unreal Engine 4. Bloom is killer on uh, processing power, so you're going to want to lower those uh, settings there, bloom and motion blur. All these other ones basically uncheck all those boxes, minimize your shadows because shadows in any game is what uh, causes major damage as well to the uh, processing power and your overall frames per second. Um, everything else though, it really doesn't have too much of an impact on your performance uh, as far as that goes. Shadows are the big one, the, um, and if you're okay with not listening to sounds, I play the game muted. I listen to music in the background while I'm playing, so I don't need any sound effects. Um, Monster effects you're also going to make sure you have a little bit of just so you can keep an eye on like different particle effects that happen from bosses like poison splats or things like that just so you don't die from those uh, boss effects. But basically these are my settings so you can go ahead and keep a lookout on this. Basically hit apply all the three and then drop all of these shadows and all that down. Also texture is an interesting one. Um, costumes use like a different sort of texture file so if you're the difference between five and two for costumes is quite negligible. Um, but if you like look at the terrain around you dropping from 5 to 2, you're going to notice a huge drop in the uh, actual um, style of the uh, rocks in the environment. It'll, it'll be a big drop. So, you know, adjust that at your, your discretion, but lower settings on that will help to improve performance as well. So those are basically the uh, graphic settings that I have in game that you can use and mess around to play with uh, to improve performance. So that is in game, and then I've got my crosshair centered on this rock or on this leaf on this plant, so I don't um, change my angle or anything while I'm doing this video. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and hit up the uh, power management menu. So we're trying to get to that. I guess I didn't pull it up already, so we're going to have to go down to the search menu. Basically, you just type in power into the uh, search bar, and then you see power and sleep settings. It's probably blocked by my webcam right now, but basically power and sleep settings. All you're going to do is you're going to go into the additional power settings and make sure that your computer is on high performance. This more applies to laptop users since usually the uh, system auto puts it on balance. But if you check high performance, it will increase your FPS a little bit. It uh, increases video quality and things like that. So it does have some impact on overall FPS values. 
So that's another thing you do. Go ahead and uh, maximize your FPS. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the processes menu on the task manager. So to open up task manager is control alt delete task manager. I know there's a shortcut on Windows. I can't remember it. I apologize. But basically what you're going to do is open up task manager and head over to the details panel. On this details panel you're going to see every single thing that is running on your game uh, or on your computer. So uh, what you want to do is you want to right click on the client.exe and you want to make sure first that the set affinity is set to all cores. Basically this means that you're, it'll uh, rotate between all the cores which everyone's using the least. You can go ahead and jump to that core for its processes and for its computations and all that good stuff. Um, since it only uses one core at a time, it doesn't mean that this is going to use every single core. It just means that it will jump from core to core to core to core um, as it goes and, and computes. Next thing you want to do is set priority and you're going to want to put that to high. Um, so I've messed with all these different settings to see which one is the best for me. You could do the same thing and see which one increases your FPS the most, um, but basically I found high to be the best. Real time, I, I don't know why I end up getting a frame decrease, um, but high seems to be the best. Like I said though, go through and check each of these settings and compare your FPS in game after you've gone ahead and do that, done that. Um, my FPS isn't changing because I'm running the recording software. Actually, there it goes now. It just peaked at 75 instead of the 72 it's been at. But this is going to take a second to take effect as well, so you do need to give it some time when you make each of these changes to see the difference. So as you can see, I gained about 4 FPS from that. Usually this gives me about a 10 FPS increase, because, um, but because I'm recording, I'm using more processing power and all that good stuff. Um, but basically, this just may, lets your computer focus more on the client.exe, which is the Blade & Soul client. Every time you start your client, you're going to need to do the same thing. So this doesn't save. This isn't a setting that is saved. You need to go ahead and set the priority to high for client.exe every time you go ahead and uh, do this. So um, with that, those are basically your changes you can make on Windows. Um, if you are on Windows 7, there is a thing called uh, uh, unparking your cores. So older versions of Windows had a tendency to put cores into like power save modes when they weren't being used. So there's uh, different programs you can download. If you go ahead and Google, and look it around, look around, you will find different programs that de uh, unpark your cores that uh, increases your FPS as well basically takes it out of environmental safety mode um, and just puts it to max power. So go ahead and Google some stuff on unparking. You'll find a lot on it. Um, but Windows 10 and Windows 8, they actually removed that feature. I am fairly confident. So uh, you don't have to worry about that on the newer operating systems. So those are basically all your changes now that you can run on, uh, that you can edit on Windows side. So now these changes I'm gonna go ahead and show you are gonna be graphics cards specific. So I'm using an NVIDIA. Um, what you're going to have to do is look up whichever graphics card you're using. So if you're using any NVIDIA, you're going to have the same menu I'm going to show you right now. Um, different pro different graphics cards that are going to require different um, softwares to go ahead and edit this. So to, to get into the NVIDIA, oh crud, I moved. Also when you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure you're looking at the same place at all times um, on your in-game screen. So you see I'm targeted in on that leaf, or maybe you can't see it, I don't know. I'm targeted in on that leaf on that plant to make sure that I'm always looking at the same area so I always have like similar FPS. Uh, when I'm going through and making these changes. So to open the NVIDIA control panel though, you're going to right click on your desktop and click NVIDIA control panel. I don't know how to get into it for other graphics cards, but um, you know, you'll know you have to tinker around with this. And the process should be similar, um, but it, it's going to require different steps to get into here. Basically what you want to do though is going to go to manage 3D set settings on the NVIDIA control panel, and then you're going to want to go to program settings and then select a program to customize. Here you'll pick uh, client.exe, which is Blade & Soul, um, and then click add. So basically, this is going to give you all the different options you can adjust on uh, Blade & Soul or whatever client you're trying to do this with, whatever you're trying to maximize the FPS for, um, all the things you can change. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change these things one at a time and uh, mess around to see which one gives you a better FPS reading up in the top left corner. It's really uh, a trial and error sort of thing. So there are suggested settings on uh, Blade & Soul Academy site. So he's got a screenshot of all of the different ones he put together to uh, get his maximum FPS. These are the ones that are my maximum FPS, but this is really a trial and error sort of thing um, to see what will improve your FPS. Um, so basically all you do is you go through each one of these and you try the different options. Um, as far as anisotropic fillings and FXAAs and all that crud, um, I would just leave those all off and save your time going through all that. They're going to have a negligible impact um, uh, by like tinkering with it. I mean, these are the higher you go, basically the more... Uh, the more graphics intensive it's going to be, so the lower FPS you're going to get. It's pretty simple on that. But things like um, maximum pre-rendered frames is a kind of a hybridization between your graphics card, the client, and all that stuff. So adjusting this setting will probably give you some differences. I like it on four. It seems to give me the best. Um, NVIDIA recommends one. You can see with the little eye there. So uh, you know you got to tinker with those types of settings. Basically, just go through all these settings and give it a tinker. 
Um, one thing that's important is this texture quality one. High performance is going to give you the best one basically no matter what you do. It basically uh, minimizes the amount of time it spends rendering and kind of just gets things out faster to put it on in a simpler basis. But yeah, basically guys, go ahead and uh, change these settings. I mean, I've got my settings here. I will, can I drag this and show them all at once? No. But I'll scroll through it slowly so you can go ahead and see uh, what we got over there. But basically that is the other thing you can change. The only other thing you can really do to impact your performance of Blade and Soul. Um, yeah, so anyway guys, that is the process for doing this. I hope you found the video useful. I hope it improves your FPS a bit. I hope it gives you a little better frame rates and dungeons and things like that. If you did like the video, make sure you leave a like. And uh, check out some of the other stuff on the channel. Guys, I got a lot of great content. Thanks for watching. Peace.